in a, a Hartford, right, where their training comes in and where we where we kind of specialize in it. So going forward is easy. Turning is easy. Going down, going up is easy. It's what if an emergency happens? What if a fire happens, right, or we lose power? to the boat itself is we have to be able to get to the surface and if you're underneath an ice cap it's a completely different story right. so we have to be able to look for those well this this class of ship can bust through six feet of ice right so we'll find the thinnest point because we have cameras that look up and sonar that can basically tell the density of the ice and we'll find it and then we have to learn how to hover and stop no motion and be completely still in the water and then vertically surface safely there's going to be a depth that they're going to start at and uh, they're going to have a what we call a hovering trim, so no speed, no use of planes, and they're staying neutrally buoyant, staying at that depth. So in order for them to make it to the surface, the dive is going to order the chief of the watch to move water. To get an upward ascent rate, the chief of the watch, or the dive is going to order the chief of the watch to move water from our forward trim tank to our aft trim tank. So taking water from the forward and putting it aft, it's automatically going to make the, the, the ship create an up angle. So once they achieve a certain angle, they'll start pumping water off the ship to make them less buoyant. Okay. So they'll automatically start coming up. So they're going to maintain a certain angle on the ship, and they want their, their ascent rate to be at a certain number also. The air <laughs> into the tanks to make us super buoyant to, to bust through the ice.